All right, so another thing I'm doing uh, besides right now, I'm gonna go get the rear suspension uh, aligned because I added those new BMR control arms. So I wanna make sure everything is, is, is aligned on the, on the rear. And while I do that, the same guy is gonna mount my tires, my front skinnies. So this is what I'm gonna be running. Mickey Thompson's 18s, uh, I believe what, 18 by 28, what are 28 by 6, 18s. So that's what's gonna be on the rear. So this is basically the, the front skinnies. So they match my car's decals, man. This is, this is, this is my favorite part about buying stuff getting decals uh so yeah the four stars that actually i used to have the exact same design for the rear on 17s uh but uh i sold to my friend i sold to my friend and i got this uh this little bead locks which I, I like them i like them honestly i know a lot of guys are gonna be like oh you're na you don't have that much power to be running fucking bead locks but hey man it's my money I like them, I like them better. And in the future, yeah, I'm gonna, hopefully I make enough powers, but for now, I like them. So yeah, we're gonna mount them, get everything ready for uh, the next event over here in T Tijuana, Mexico. There's gonna be an event at the track. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later on, on a, about it on a different video. So yeah, let's get it. All right, good morning, guys. Uh, so I'm on my way now to do the uh, alignment on the car and mount the skinnies on the wheels. So the car feels good. Like I said, it drives good because it has, uh, I kept the same uh, PCM. So it has the same tune as uh, the previous. So that's why I don't have any issues. But it does, it does feel like it needs a little little new era sauce on it you know um, not the major just to make sure everything is running smooth uh the gears are there everything you know uh, as far as testing the car i already drove it uh around the block the first time and then i took it for a spin on the highway and stuff and it feels good man the car runs amazing but it could be better just seats and, and, and seat belts, harness, but the car feels different, man. For some reason, you know, the seats are more comfortable. It just feels like a, kind of like a race car in a way. And right now I'm cruising at 45. I got the windows down. So you guys can see, there's a lot of people that uh, think that running a, the GPI SS4, a high, a high uh, cam, with the 4K converter, it's kind of limited, uh, the car, or it's too rough to drive. Like I'm cruising, you can hear music. I mean, the windows are down. I'm pretty sure you guys can hear me talking. So like I said, it's not, if it, honestly, it feels good. I'm not gonna lie, it, 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 it fucking drinks gas like a motherfucker, but you, you can drive this shit, you know? I take it, I mean, I drove the car from Mexico to LA, no issues. It's drivable, I would say. You can daily drive it, you know, if you don't mind spending the gas money. But that's just something for you guys to see too. And a lot of people think that uh, the same setup 4K converter with the SS4 GPI cam. You can't really take it or three. I got 391 gears too. So there's a guy, a guy on uh, YouTube was asking me about the gears and how it feels because he he road races. Sometimes people think that you don't have over 120 miles per hour still. Like you're limited to that mileage, but I taken the car up to 150, 160. No issues. I road raced before too. And I think 
for NA setup, 391 gears is good. Maybe once I add boost, I might need to uh, drop it a little bit, but just for drag racing. Because I might be spinning first gear, maybe second. We'll see, but that's, that's another topic. And that's the, te the temperature. So that's cruising right now. I drove around six miles to my friend's house and that's another reason why I want to get the trans cooler. Right, guys so we got the front skinnies already mounted i mean on the wheel i like it man spanking new i haven't even used them i'm gonna keep this but <laughs> let let it come off by itself but uh yeah uh the whole drag pack is complete now just gotta mount them before i raced uh, hopefully it's, it's ready and i get to go and test the car uh but yeah one thing i noticed and the uh, now it's it's a must, must for sure before I do anything with the car. Uh, one thing is gonna be critical in the car now is gonna be the cooler for the transmission, the trans uh, cooler. So that's what I'm waiting for on GPI to send it. Uh, once I get that mounted and take it uh, to Alex, New Era Performance, so they can tune the transmission. Uh, everything is good now before uh, before doing the alignment on the, on the car, uh, the car was, Every time I will give it gas, you know, a little bit hard, it will move to the left. So that's because this one side, it was more uh, sideways. But after alignment, car goes straight as an arrow. So besides that, it's just the trans. Now it gets, it gets really hot now. So that's, that's going to be uh, a must now for sure, for sure. Get the air uh, transmission coolant uh, or transmission cooler and get Alex do his magic with the tune and the transmission. And so everything is running 100% and I'm confident, you know? So, but other than that, man, that's, that's it, man. I'm really happy I get to drive, daily drive it now. And the car got my baby back. So there's a few things I'm doing to the car. Not just uh, small little things, but yeah, man. Catch you guys on the next one. And if you guys haven't seen it, that's the new uh, GPI wires that I got from them. Pretty sick, man. GPI, hands down, best products. But, yeah. See you guys on the next one.